If you've been turning down orders simply because the material or garment consisted of nylon, well, guess what? Stop saying no and start saying yes, because I'm gonna give you a variety of products that will help you decorate on nylon. What's up guys, I'm Kelly Walters, and yes, you are watching this video because you're wanting to learn what products can be applied to nylon. Now, nylon's really not that difficult as long as you know the material that you are heat applying is actually made to go on nylon. And all that means is we're just making sure that adhesive is nylon approved. Now, I will show you both single color heat transfer products as well as printable. And yes, we are going to decorate on a product like this. Now, we're not gonna do any cutting and weeding today. All of these products I'm going to show you are actually samples that you can order on stalls.com. And what that means is when you're done watching this video, you can hop over to stalls.com, order a sample, and start testing and applying in your shop. Not only will this make you be the expert in dealing with nylon, but you can recommend products that your customers are going to trust and continue to build that loyalty. All right, so let's go ahead and start reviewing those products. So I've actually switched out my 16 by 20 and traded it for our six by 10 platen. Because the designs I'm decorating with today are a little bit larger than left chest, I really don't need a large platen. Plus we'll be working with a pocket and two left chests. Now this Independent Trading Co anorak jacket is definitely um, a thicker jacket it is 100 percent uh, nylon as well now i'm actually going to do um maybe i'll keep them at the left left chest but i have been playing with uh, some locations lately where the pocket came more right below say the bust or um, right at the rib cage and was decorating with the left chest being a little bit lower So the first one we're gonna decorate with is our thermo grip. Now, why would you use thermo grip? Right there in the description, it says best choice for nylon athletic garments. That could be a football jersey, basketball jersey. It could be a singlet. Um, even though singlets typically tend to stretch, again, it is still good for nylon, so you would just wanna test this product and see if that's what you like on that textile. We are going to use a uh, number 36. Place it about right there. Let me adjust my garment just a little bit. Now the application instructions for CADCUT Thermo Grip is 330, six to eight seconds, medium pressure and peel warm. Now this is going to have um, some texture on this type of material. It's, it's abrasion resistant. It is one of our thickest materials. However, this has been a fan favorite for many, many years. So if you are concerned about the thickness and the texture, just know that is, it is still extremely popular. All right, it came with a cover sheet, so let's use that. And like it said, peel warm, so I'm gonna wait just a couple of seconds and then go in and peel away my carrier. So let's go ahead and hop over to this side and we will just keep decorating right along. Now I'm checking my measurements and I'm about four of my fingers up from the top. So the next product we are going to use is our CAD Cut Sport Film Light. So this is going to be our Eagle. And already I can tell that it is much thinner than our Gorilla Grip, and that's okay because each product is going to serve a purpose. Now this is awesome for lightweight garments, okay? And at the best value. 
Now this is also going to be our lowest temp application in these three products at 302 for about 10 seconds. Medium pressure again and still a warm peel. So what's one of the biggest reasons you would consider Sport Film Light over Gorilla Grip? Well, one you can automatically consider is going to be temperature. We've got a 330 on Gorilla Grip mixed with or compared to a 302 on Sport Film Light. So if you think that that nylon is going to go ahead and scorch or you just don't want to apply that much heat to a garment, then guess what? You can make that adjustment. Also is going to be a hand. Remember, your thermo grip is going to have a little bit of texture and your sport film light is going to be more of a satin to matte finish. All right, we're gonna pop this down over to the, the pocket. Last but not least is going to be your Gorilla Grip. Now this is also another excellent choice. It's going to be on the thinner spectrum, closer to Sport Film Light versus Gorilla Grip. And with this particular product, it's actually thinner than our Sport Film Light. However, it is going to be applied at 320 for 10 seconds. There is going to be another little added step we are going to peel for after two. Let's actually put this in the middle. Peel after two and then continue pressing for the 10. Now my timer is gonna go off at five and I should, have pre I should have peeled at two. Got a little lift on that venom because I waited, or I went too soon to peel. I peeled it hot instead of versus warm. And then I'm gonna go back in and finish pressing again. All right, now just so you guys can see how easy it is to apply 3M Reflective. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that product as well. So I'm just turning our jacket around to the back because I want this little hip placement with staff. Now remember this uh, 3M Reflective is ANSI rated and it's going to apply 325 to 350, 10 to 12 seconds, a firm pressure and it's going to peel hot. So I did adjust my pressure just a little bit. Now, I didn't adjust my time. I've kept it on five and five the entire time. So that last five was going to get me my full 10 and peel hot. All right, so here is the garment that we decorated together, completely done. So as you can see, we used the three different products. They all adhered to nylon. So now you just have to narrow down and decide which material is gonna be best for you and the job. Of course, you consider the cost of the transfer, you can consider how it weeds and applies, and of course, the color selection. So, these are all single colors, but what if you're really wanting a full color or multicolor capability, right? So let's go back to that jacket I showed at the very beginning. Same company, same jacket. Yes, this is Independent Trading Co., but this is a black tonal camo. And as you can see down at that front pocket, we have that full color capability down there. That is part of our Super Tech line. And that is a product that can go on a variety of products, including cotton, poly, and nylon, lycra, spandex, and several other types of textiles. 
Now this is a material that starts out white. It goes through an eco solvent printer. It's printed on, we cut, we mask, weed, weed mask, and then apply. So let me show you how to do that in, or I will show you how to do that in just a second. But there are a couple of products in this Super Tech lineup. You've got Super Tech Opaque, which is just white. You've got Super Tech Subla Stop that actually has a charcoal backing on it to inhibit any type of dye migration. And then you've got Super Tech Matte Clear and Super Tech Gloss Clear. So let's go decorate with that Super Tech Subla Stop. That way you can see how it is applied to a gar or a applied onto a cinch sack. So still using my six by 10 platen, I am sliding on our cinch bag. Now I do want to pre-press this. And the reason being is just to make sure we get all of the moisture um, out of our garment or our bag before we keep applying. Now with our super tech products, this is going to be apply for five seconds, peel warm, apply again. And that second application is really going to just um, make that kind of a, a glossy look go to a satin. Now, as you can see, we have our charcoal backing on the back of our super tech, super tech subla stop. And with having a lot of white in our design, we want to make sure that that royal or that navy doesn't come through and turn that into a gray or even a light blue. That backing is really going to help inhibit any type of dye migration. Okay, applying our cover sheet. Remember, this is only gonna be five seconds, 280 degrees. And we're gonna let that warm down or uh, cool down for just a little bit, getting to um, a warm state versus a hot. Now this is still pretty hot. And so you can see the difference after we apply. You can see a little bit of that sheen come through with just a little bit of a satin look. But once we hit it again, it'll look really nice and uh, mattify that, that logo. Back on the platen it goes. And again, cover sheet and finish for five seconds. Nope, my cover sheet moved in transition. And now our logo went from kind of a satin look to definitely more of a matte, really bringing out more of the texture in the bag. Now keep in mind, it's a super tech material. So this means it can go on jackets, just like the very beginning jacket I showed you. It can go on polyester garments as well because of that um, dye inhibiting backing of that charcoal. This is excellent for any type of products, including polyester, that might dye migrate. All right, so here is our sublim sublimated cinch sack, completely decorated with our Super Tech Subla Stop Transfer. And as you can see, that white has stayed nice and bright, and we have not had anything fade into that color. Now, whether or not, Okay, you're choosing to work with a full color transfer or you just need a single color, you have options. And the whole point is now you have the ability to say yes and not turn down any more orders simply because you don't wanna work with nylon or you don't even know where to get started. If you have any questions, you guys know you can always reach out to customer service. You can pop the questions down below, reach out to us on social media and I hope you know we'll take care of you. If you're not in our Heat Press for Profit group on Facebook, hop in there because we have a wonderful community of others that are willing to help you as well. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, happy decorating, and we'll see you next time. 
Now, this is what the transfer looks like once it's been printed on with that EcoSolvent printer. And as you can see, it's almost translucent. You can see pretty much right through it. So that means if this is going to apply to any garment that has color, just know your colors are going to shift. Now the application instructions are identical to the Supertech Subwa stop, but you have to check out what this looks like on a garment.